Now, last week, Wednesday, we celebrated Human Rights Day. And for a number of campaigners from the People Opposing Women Abuse Organization, the day was also about highlighting the horrible statistics of violence against women through the launch of their newspaper publication. And we met up with the executive director of Power at the launch. In South Africa, sexual violence and domestic abuse against women is amongst the highest in the world. People Opposing Women Abuse is an organization looking to combat these statistics with their latest campaign. The Daily Abuse Campaign is a campaign that is showing South Africa that yesterday it was the 21st of March and it was Human Rights Day, but 360 women were abused. And also today, 360 women will be abused. It is important that we highlight that despite the fact that we all have rights, we all should be treated with respect and dignity, but a lot of women and girls and children are not treated with dignity and they are being abused daily. Women are dying every day and I think it's very important that people start to know about this and I feel that me participating in the daily abuse campaign will help raise awareness and hopefully get more victims to speak out. It's important for us to raise our voice for the victims. They need solidarity. They need other women uh, to stand up for them and give them the support because as women, we are usually fragile and vulnerable. So I think we need each other to stand up against the abuse. I feel like no one really knows about it and it's happening underneath us, everyone. And we need to make a stand against it and stop it. They've partnered with ad agency Joe Public United to develop and distribute a publication containing abuse stories and statistics from across the country. Power is a client of Joe Public's and we think the initiative that they do, which is uh, they are people opposing women abuse, what they do for the country is an incredibly amazing um, organization and we launched a newspaper called The Daily Abuse and we filled it cover to cover with abuse stories. People need to see what is going on. And I think the awareness perspective of this campaign is super important. People need to know what is going on every day in this country. We are activating the daily abuse today to show the media that abuse should be on our agenda on a daily basis so that it's something that we talk about on a daily basis. Because if we wait for certain months and certain days to talk about it, it's not an issue that we are going to eradicate in our community. There are so many cases that go unreported, mainly because we do not show solidarity with survivors of abuse. We victim blame them or we shun them for what they are going through. In South Africa, a woman is physically abused every four minutes and three women are killed every day by their intimate partner. For this reason, it was important for the male members of power to add their voices. We should empower women in the country and it's just atrocious really that we never speak about women abuse and it's always behind closed doors. I mean, these are our mothers, our daughters, our grandmothers, our sisters. We should take this matter seriously and ensure that we empower them and support them. I think as men, you know, it's our duty to s stop this. The more papers we get out there, the more tweets we reach, the more people hear about our message and, you know, the sooner this will stop. We are hoping that all South Africans will rally together and work together to end violence against women and girls. We are also hoping that the private sector in South Africa takes abuse very seriously and they come on board to work with civil society to end violence against women and girls. And we are saying to all the good men out there, it is your chance now with the daily abuse to do something and to actually call your brothers and your friends out whenever they are abusing someone. The road to a South Africa free from the abuse of women is a hard one, but with the support of organizations like Power, initiatives like the Daily Abuse Campaign are definitely a step in a positive direction.